The main palette is a very important uh, palette in MicroStation. And you notice that by dragging the word main and holding the left mouse button, we can drag it onto the screen. Double clicking the minus symbol will close it. If you select the word palettes, come down to the word main and select the word main, you'll see the main palette pop onto the screen. Now there, these tools are logically placed. As an example, this upper right hand corner uh, as an example, we can select the word main and come down to the word lines and it will pop open the icons for us. So again, we could tear out the menus or we can use the menus right from the screen, uh, from the pull down. And when we select line, notice that the options appear underneath, but when I touch the second one, if there are no options, it, MicroStation will adjust the palette. Now let's double tap these real quick. We'll touch in the left mouse button and the minus symbol and let's look at the, logically at these palettes. First one is lines. The second one is how we create closed shapes such as polygons, blocks, um, and again isometric blocks. The next icon is our, circ our circle commands and ellipses. This tool right here is representing the text commands, and here you'll see the symbols that we're able to create and define and use inside MicroStation. So again, th this is our cells command or our symbols command. Something else we want to show you is basically on the other side. This, this, this is your uh, arc commands, and again, you can modify your arcs here. Uh, the next tool underneath is how we are able to create curves, B splines, pl placing splines by points. And this one here is precisely putting in data po points inside MicroStation. Now, logically, this is pretty much set together that all the objects above these tools here, the ones we've looked at, basically uh, creates new objects. The next two uh, sets of tools, uh, right lined up right next to each other, constructs or creates from existing objects. This is your copy commands and your move commands, such as mirror, offset. Every one of these will require, uh, such as the fillet command and the chamfer command, will require that you have something existing. The next row is the modify commands. Notice, notice that we can do things like trim and bring in two elements to an intersection. While we can also use a painter's palette to change the color, change the level, change the weight, change the fill. So these are the modify commands. This next set of tools are what we call the drop commands, how we can break up um, a grouped object such as uh, strings and shapes and text and dimensions. While this other side is what we call the group commands. Here we can chain. Uh, one-dimensional objects, two-dimensional objects, we can go ahead and even go do group holes so to punch holes in surfaces. Uh, as well as the top two, this is the element selection and underneath that is our fence commands. These are the only two group commands that are not inside the palette because these are used most of the time. Now, once we get down to th this row, we come down to the very last row. The very last two icons are screen control objects, such as being able to update and zoom in, zoom out, and fit the drawing, and as well as the, the actual delete command.